Hi everyone, this is size 10 barbless hook and this is a check nympho actually. So I'm going to explain you everything as I go along. So arson weight on your hook which is a lead foil. I'm going to double that up actually from the middle. Thread is light olive eight o. <laughs> Just start and hide all this lead foil. Take your time. Right, and for the back I'm using is a, this is a thin skin, and it's got like a like it's like a sticky it's got paper kind of cardboard on one side and this thin skin plastic on one side. So I just cut this. I'd say about three to four, maybe five millimeter wide, and depend on the size of the hook. <coughs> so. Here you have to just cut it in the middle and we'll take your time again and then go all the way down towards the bend. Come back up, hide all this. Just to check if it's okay. That should be okay. Add some marks on the thread. Also, I'm going to use a clear thread, which is a mono, to make a segment. So I'm going to catch that at the same time. <clears throat> and uh, this is a tinsel flash. Actually it's got a lot of different colors in it. So I took, uh, this is a kind of orangey one, just to give extra color. Touch this and then hide all this again. And then come back towards the band. Now rotate the vise. Add some marks on your thread. And dubbing, this is a lightish Granny Smith color. Uh, you can, you probably watched this video I uploaded and in the past. I'll put the link on the end, uh, on the end screen. So see, but you can use your own dubbing. You don't have to be exactly the same. This is synthetic dubbing. I made it with a wool. So gently take your time use touch and turn keep coming up it's simple to tie none different than any other check nymph that's a bit more
not gonna go too close to the eye okay now first I have to bring this it's flushable now take your time with this leave enough cup and secure this couplet few turn take this off I'm just gonna give a half inch now take your time and bring your nib skin I would stretch a little secure this and cut this very close and I'm gonna finish off with this thread now now what you have to do is bring this mono make sure this is lying perfectly on top and take your time and I'm gonna work with this after when I finish just to check if it's sitting okay need is a block marker and just some varnish well, actually, before you put varnish, just use some light brush to release some fiber to give a little buggy effect, you know. And I'm going to cut this off with. Yeah. and varnish so there we have a check nymph I hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching